Okay, so as a sort of a pre-word to this video, this is my unofficial 300th video. The reason why I say unofficial is because I, you can't actually see all 300 videos. And mind you, this doesn't count the ones I've deleted over the years. Because there are a few that are set to private that I recently made disappear. Because A, I don't like them, or B, they're not viewed enough. They aren't viewed, and uh, um, other miscellaneous reasons. And then there are also the ones that are unlisted because I made a whole bunch of link videos where you have one video and then you click it and you see links to a whole bunch of others. Nevertheless, for my unofficial 300th video, I'm going to be showing you something that I have not shown on my channel before. No, not a Sunbeam microwave. No, not a no-name brand toaster oven. Not the Keurig, which is actually new. I might show that in the video. Definitely not a GE dishwasher, and certainly not a Kenmore stove. But what you, I'm really going to show in this video is this. This is another GE product, you can see there. This is a GE Space Maker AM FM radio, among a few of its other things. In the front you can see you've got a light switch. You can have it set to a low light, which is the light, lights underneath it. And a bright, which is high. This allows you to set the alarm, and then allows you to set the time. And that just locks everything in place. I'm not going to change anything that's what you use to set it. There is your tuning dial. I'm not going to change that because I'm sure that if I do, I'm going to get complained at. I don't know what that's for. Oh, I think that's actually for the outlet. There's a timer. And there's the alarm. The appliance outlet is right there, and it is actually a two-prong outlet. Which I just realized I was going to say it was not. The speaker's on the bottom, right there. And on this side, you have the volume knob, and the tuning, or sorry, the tuning dial, the volume knob, and the on-off for, or the FM, AM switch. I'm not going to touch that, I'm going to just leave it as is. And this, of course, turns the radio on and off. So, um, if you want to use the outlet, you have to turn that to on. And I will, I'll just leave that. And, uh, let me turn on the radio for you guys. For 20, West Virginia, and Rutgers had a lead most of the game. But it is set on AM right now, so this is actually AM receiving on the built-in loop stick. Here's Gino, throws the ball, downfield, caught by Tavon, 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 and then off. Andrew Jones sets a school record with 505 yards passing and five touchdowns. Number seven. You can tell that, that that's actually just a news station that it's tuned into. I think it's tuned into 1200 kilohertz on the uh, AM band. And uh, so, let's set the auto here. I want to do something with that. What time is it now? It's 8.01. I'm going to set it to a... Oh, that is actually pretty cool. Let me turn that on. It's gonna blast me. Oh, actually, you know what that does? I think what that does is that turns on the outlet. Yeah, that turns on the outlet. I can't figure out how to do that. Let 
and then this is how you set it. And it will blast me. Yep, that's what that is. That is a timer. And um, that's what it does. Oh, the auto. Um, never mind. I thought that was what it did, but it doesn't. And so there you go. I think it just takes an ordinary. Yeah, it just takes an ordinary uh, incandescent lamp. There you have it. One last thing is that you can see it's a uh, four-segment display. And uh, with the AM light there, that lights when it's uh, in the morning, and then in the afternoon it changes to the PM light, which is something that not many clocks do. Most of them just have a PM light. But uh, nevertheless, thus concludes this video, because my camera is actually almost about to run out of batteries. I uh, hope to see you next time. If you have any comments, feel free to leave them down below. And until then, enjoy your space maker.